then just simply slot in the new SSD in the same way you took out the old one and replace the placement screw. Here's the thing, I definitely need to upgrade my Dell XPS 9570 and I feel like it would be a fun process to share with, with the people, right? Are we just gonna remake that video? No, 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 of course not. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're upgrading my Dell 9570 with some upgraded storage, memory, and Wi-Fi card. And this video is brought to you by Fossil's high-tech smartwatch that doesn't compromise on style. We're also going to do an aesthetic upgrade of the D brand skin. So we have a skin for the XPS 15 and also the Razer Blade 15. But why are you guys here? Ooh, we need to upgrade these parts. We have the updated Wi-Fi card here. So this is the memory. We're going from 16 gigs to 32. I'll be upgrading from 512 gigabytes to one terabyte of SSD storage. The SSD that ships with the XPS 15 isn't that fast, so the Samsung drive will give me more space. It's also going to give me faster access to my video files when I'm in Premiere, when I'm editing all the things. One terabyte of SSD storage on this little guy. XPS 15, it's time to upgrade you. I am so scared of this process. It'll be so entertaining to see, is Sarah gonna screw it up? Speaking of screws, you don't wanna screw this up because these two screws in the center of the computer are very sensitive, they're very squishy. But let's start with the torque screw. Torque screw, I'm learning so much. Wow. Engaging, thrilling, amazing content. How long is this gonna take? Oh my God, I'm already bored. This is bringing me back to my, um, I worked at an electronics shop outside of my college when I was an electrical engineering major. I'm just gonna keep bringing that up so you think I'm smart, but I dropped out. That is where I discovered it's very good to get personal experience in these fields that you're going to college for, because <laughs> very quickly you will discover, oh, I don't wanna do this. I just wanna play with technology. I wanna make stuff. Okay, so we got that down now. Intense music needs to start. These are the two screws. That could screw up everything. Oh, I'm getting it. Oh, Sarah, careful. Careful, Sarah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. See, this is my quality screwdriver from my electrical engineering lab days. I've been a MacBook girl for so long that I'm not used to having a machine that you can upgrade the parts to. How exciting to have control over your technology, but I can't figure out how to, how does one, okay, here we go, here we go. Everyone calm down, everyone calm, calm down. I am being calm. <sighs> Honestly, how do people make laptops? This is insane. You'd probably agree that out if you hadn't dropped out. Oh, burn. Wow, technology is so cool. It's so cool, technology, ASMR. Okay, everyone in the comments of these videos say, disconnect the battery. What are you doing? You're gonna kill yourself. So, I mean, should I disconnect the battery? I can't wait to boot up my XPS and it just is completely bricked. <laughs> it's good to know that the battery is so easy to replace though, because I feel like that's the first thing that goes with laptops. Oh, that was easy. Battery is disconnected, so... Yay, safety first. This is so fun to look at. I don't, I'm stalling because I'm nervous. <laughs> We're gonna start with the SSD. Now in the videos that I've watched, this, this thing, whatever this thing is, usually stays on the shell, but we'll just make sure to put it, put it over the SSD after. Unscrew the one screw that is holding down this sad little slow SSD. Gonna put this screw right here. And then you just pop it on out. <laughs> SSD, Sarah, Sassy DG. I'm gonna place this in at a slight angle here. Okie dokie. All right, moving on to the RAM. You can take all of these parts and sell them on eBay, sell them on Craigslist, so you can really make back some of your money. Later, we're gonna show you how to take advantage of the SSD that you remove and use it as an external SSD. Place the RAM in. We have two sticks of 16 gigs for a total of 32. The videos that I watch, usually they had the label on the outside, but these, these fit in with the opposite, so the label's on the inside. All right, so we're just gonna push it. Ooh, what a satisfying sound. We are two out of three, almost done here. The Wi-Fi card is the last step, so we're just gonna take one more screw. 
like that. White cable on the left, black on the right. So it's kind of just like an up motion. This is so nerve wracking. Wow, okay. Insert this in, okay. Must be nice for normal people who can do this stuff without like worrying about being filmed. <laughs> oh, okay, well that was easy. It's easier using your fingers. All right, getting those antennas on were a little bit more difficult than I thought, but that's okay. So we're just gonna screw the cover back on. All right, put the ooey gooey guy back on. Okay, oh my gosh, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be. Wiggle it back in there. Okay. The connection with the battery basically slips right in when you put the battery in, so it's not super difficult. You just wanna make sure that connection there is made, so we're just gonna screw back in all the screws. I feel so smart, wow. That was actually incredibly easy. Like, a dog could do that. We did it! Okay, now it's time to boot it up. Before you do any of that, you wanna download Windows onto a USB drive. <coughs> okay, so now we are going to boot it up. And we have the USB driver, we have Windows downloaded onto it. I'm gonna put everything in the description below with very explicit instructions on how to do these things. So hopefully you can do everything just from this video. Ooh, alert, the amount of system memory has changed. You are correct, continue. Running a system scan to detect any potential hardware problems. Hardware scan complete with no issues. Man, nailed it. We're gonna press shut down. It's gonna shut down, then we're gonna plug in the USB drive with Windows. Okay, so we've booted it back up and now we have Windows. Install now. Bam! We shall click the custom install Windows only. Click the drive, next. We are gonna let Windows install and then come back and customize the aesthetics with a D brand skin. I'm so excited, this black marble looks so cool, cute, awesome. And also, what is this? Well, this is gonna be a way where you can utilize this as an external SSD. All up next, after just a quick word from Fossil. This is Fossil's fitness first smartwatch. It has everything you would need in a smartwatch, like heart rate and activity tracking, as well as GPS. You can customize your watch straps, and there are a wide range of styles to choose from. There are sport and stainless steel options. I am constantly on the go in NYC, so it's fun to keep up with my steps. Make sure to check out the link in the description below for the latest and greatest smartwatches from Fossil. Okay, New York City, you walk a lot, right? I go through tinnies like crazy. I'm gonna take this opportunity to get a new pair of shoes. We are back. So as I was saying, I like that I can customize this. It looks good. It doesn't look like the classic squarey smartwatch. In the same vein, I want my laptops, I want my computers to look fire. So if you're curious, make sure to check out the link in the description below for fossil smartwatches. I've personally been enjoying wearing the hybrid smartwatch. I recently talked about that, but if you're an active human, if you want to count those steps, if you want a GPS track, this might be a good option for you. I'm going to show you how to do it brand skin on a Dell XPS. This is going to be easy. Applying the piece without a Dell logo is simple. Just use a Tommy gun. <laughs> Let's now move on to the top skin. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not very good at following directions. Like this seems more difficult than the internal stuff. Okay. Oh, I already messed it up. Oh my God. All right, all right. We got it. I mean, that has to be perfect. It has to be. How? What am I doing with my life? This is one of the most 
frustrating process as ever. It's the lining it up part, but I think this is as good as it's gonna get, TBH. I honestly think it's perfect. Okay, the big reveal. <sighs> Bam! This looks good. This looks clean. Ooh, I cannot wait to walk into a coffee shop with this. What's up, haters? I got fast SSD memory, a freaking fast Wi-Fi card, and we're looking good. Like, honestly, the XPS is pretty, it's kind of a thick boy, just like the Razer. When you get used to the MacBooks, everything does seem thicker, even though it's not really that much thicker. Having this setup really does feel like I'm going back to that smooth, sleek, MacBook life. <laughs> XPS's can be smooth and sleek, but you know what I mean. That took way longer than I anticipated, so wait till the very end if you wanna see what the razor blade looks like with the black camo. But right now, I wanna show you guys an accessory you can buy it on Amazon. This basically allows you to take the storage, the SSD storage from your laptop and use it as an SSD drive. SSD drives are pretty pricey and you can never have enough fast storage. But since this is USB 3.1, we'll have to see if that speed is is at all comparable to what it was like when it was in the XPS. Okay, so unlock, I'm gonna unlock it here and then it pushes out, wow. We're just gonna insert the SSD a little bit of an angle here then we're gonna click it into this rubber stop. Boom, secured. It's really that simple. That's amazing. Now let's test the actual speed. Well, I was pleasantly surprised that this pluggable basically had faster read speeds, which is great if you're editing off of a portable SSD. The write speeds, I mean, it was significantly lower than the popular T5, but that just means it's gonna take a little bit more time to transfer data to the hard drive. Wow, so pluggable. Take those pesky little SSDs that are laying around and make, make a hard drive out of it. Cool hack, Sarah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps if you need to upgrade a Dell XPS, but also shows you it's not that difficult. Other laptops have different quirks that you have to mind, but it's gonna be pretty consistent throughout the major OEMs. You just have to kind of do some homework because when you buy these PC laptops, they don't necessarily ship with the best stuff. So sometimes it's best to get the 256, the low memory option, so then you can upgrade it with the fast stuff, the stuff you know is good on your own. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out the link in the description below for those fossil smartwatches and i'll see you in the next one let me know if you like this video hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week and we're gonna sign off here with seeing if we can get that final d brand on this razor blade 15 that my assistant editor uses um, i just don't have the patience for it so <laughs> good luck